The Drupal Migrate framework can be used to perform batch ingests in Islandora 8. With the Migrate Islandora CSV module, we have some sample migrations that we can use to move content into our repository. So looking here, we see there are three steps to this migration. We import the image files, we import the nodes, and then we import the media. And this demo module comes with five images. We're going to do our own migration, replacing those images and updating the CSV file to bring some cat and dog pictures into this demo box. So I'm going to use an FTP client because I prefer working in a graphical user interface. And I'm in my home directory, so I need to go into the Drupal directory. Var, www, HTML, Drupal, and I'm going to go directly into the Islandora Migrate CSV module itself. So we go into Modules, Contrib, and we're going to find the Islandora Migrate, Migrate Islandora CSV module. And we're going to go into the data directory. And here's where we'll find those five sample images that come with the module. Now I'm going to get rid of those. Just quickly delete them. And I'm going to replace them by dragging a set of my own cat and dog pictures into this data directory. My FTP client handles uploading those for me. And now that we've got these files in place in the file system, the next thing we're going to need to do is go back up and we have to work with the migrate.csv file that uh, tells the nodes where all the metadata is and how to put all these pieces together. So if we have a look at the sample one that came with the module, you can see there's five lines in there representing those five pieces of sample content that came with the module. But since we've replaced that sample content with our own pictures, we're going to have to make our own. So let's have a look at that in spreadsheet form, making it a little easier to see what each piece is doing. So here it is telling the file where the files are. This is popular in the title field, subtitle field, description, date, subject, photographer field, and the provider field, some sample data. So I've made my own version with all those same fields, except I've updated it to point to the files that I put into the data directory, and I've made my own metadata here. to take this file and I'll save it under the same name and then I'm going to replace the existing migrate.csv with my own version of it. So I'll just use my FTP client again to overwrite that original file with my own. That's done so I'll open it in a text editor again just to verify. There's all those rows with my data instead. So now it's time to go in back into Drupal itself. I'll refresh this page and we can see there are now 23 objects that have been that are unprocessed and waiting to go through the system. So the first thing I'm going to do is import the image files. So I've got some options here. I can import, which is what I'm going to do. I also have the option to roll back if something goes wrong and this will remove everything I've imported. If this is a long process and I want to halt it, I can stop it. Or if something goes wrong and things hang, I can reset to fix it and start over. So we're importing these files. And that was successful. Process 23 items. Perfect. Now, go back out to my migrations here. The next one I'm going to do is to build the nodes. So import nodes from CSV, and this is gonna pull in metadata from those fields in the CSV file. 
So I'll execute this process as well. And it will build 23 nodes in my Drupal site. That's all successful. And if I go back out to the home page, I can see this content is in here now. These are nodes without media at this point because I haven't completed all of the steps of the migration, but they do have metadata corresponding to what was in those fields in the CSV file. See, the media has not yet been generated. So we'll do the last step of our migration here. And we're going to run import media from CSV. And this will take those image files and turn them into media on the nodes that have been created. And it will also generate derivative creation. So we'll get things like thumbnails, fits metadata, service files. But all of those processes are going to be happening in the background after the nodes and the media have been created. So that part of it will take a little while. So when we go back out and look at our homepage, we see not everything has a thumbnail yet, but some of the earlier items do. We can drill down and take a look at what's been generated on this particular image. So the service file is not there yet, but if we look under media, we'll see it's got the original file and the thumbnail. give our site just a little bit longer to do its work. See, it's generating more and more thumbnails. Give it a little while longer. See, all of the thumbnails are in. If we open up a particular object, the service file is in place, and these derivatives are getting popped up as they are created by the system. This one has everything. Service file, thumbnail, fits metadata, the whole process is complete. We've brought 23 cat and dog pictures into this brand new Islandora site with the Migrate tool. For more information about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.